Hi guys, so I have a pretty interesting story. Um, I got hypnotized today. Uh, meet my new boyfriend, Taylor Lautner. Um, he's a little broken. He, he, um, yeah. This is his body. And this is his head and his arm. Does it look like an It doesn't look like an arm anymore. But so <laughs> yeah, um there was a hypnotist that came to our school yesterday and oh my god, it was so funny. And it made me want to get hypnotized for some reason. I don't know, I kinda just wanted to know what it'd be like and how I would act and stuff. And so he had another show at a technical college by my school. So I decided, why not? Let's go. So a few of my friends and I, my hair is, things happened. Um, so we went to the tech and we're like, hey, no one knows us there. And there's only like 40 people in the audience or something like that. And so I went up with one of my friends and then her roommate and then two like, one of my other friends and her friend, or her coworker or something, were sitting next to her, and they didn't, they didn't go up. And so, <sighs> we went up there, and I didn't actually feel like I was hypnotized at first, and then the two guys, like, next to me, um, the hypnotist was like, hey, you guys, like, go, go sit back down, go sit back down. And so, I was like, oh crap, he's, he's, I'm not hypnotized, he's gonna make me go back. And so, Turns out he he kept me anyway. I think it was because like we told him like, hey, yeah, we were at the show last night or something. I don't know. Maybe I was actually hypnotized. I didn't feel like I was, but whatever. But yeah, so it felt really weird. Like I was really tired and kind of fuzzy, I guess. And um, so whenever he would like put us deeper into the sleep or something, I don't know. It just something happened and I just dropped. And so there, there are bits and pieces that I personally remember. And then there are a lot of things that my friends told me. So some of the things that they told me were we were animals at one point And I was a mix between a dolphin and a horse. And I couldn't move my legs or they were my fin or something. So I was just like waddling around on my hands. And then um, I remember being scared a lot. And the two ladies next to me scared me. Because I don't know why. But they scared me. I just remember being scared a lot. And at one point, I was like trying to, like I was scared. So I was trying to like grab onto the guy next to me. And after a while, he was like, I'm, I'm not hypnotized. And he just left. And yeah. I don't, I don't remember a lot of the stuff, but so that happened, and then I twerked, the twerking zombie, um, yeah, I don't know how that works, but I twerked with, yeah, so Taylor Lautner back there, he, like, the hypnotist told me that when I came out of whatever, I was going to be, like, all excited because Taylor Lautner was going to be over there. Well, he asked me a actor. For, I thought I would have been, like, oh, Neil Patrick Harris. Like, I love him. He's awesome. And I said Taylor Lautner. So I was like, oh, yeah, Taylor Lautner is going to be over there in a yellow and purple jumpsuit. And, yeah, you're just going to see him and you're going to go over and you're going like, to talk to him and stuff. He just got done working out. So don't mind if legs are up. He's, he's just resting from this big workout. So I opened up my eyes and he had other people do other stuff. And this girl screamed. And I looked over at her and she was like on my right. And because I was at the very end at the left. And so I looked over at her and saw Taylor Lautner. And I just I just started getting, like, all excited and, like, all giddy and stuff. And he looks over at me. He's like, what do you, like, who's over there? 
I was like, oh my god, it's Taylor Lautner. <laughs> and so, he was like, okay. And I just bolted over towards him. And I guess I was like, hugging him and like, playing with his hair. And people started coming up and taking pictures of me. I remember that. Like, I remember getting my picture taken. I was like, yeah, that's right. I'm getting Give my picture taken with Taylor Lautner, and, um, he said something about, like, oh, he'll be here after the show to sign autographs or something, and, <laughs> so, yeah, so I decided to bring him home, and he had duct tape on his back, so I tried taking off the duct tape, and so his back popped, and then we walked outside, and I don't know what popped, but his arm fell off. <laughs> So we just shoved him in my back seat, and I took him, and yeah, so he's going to be my little snuggle buddy tonight, but um, some of the things that my friends did was, um, one of my friends started speaking Spanish, <laughs> and I didn't know what she was talking about, um, I, I think it was during the animals. She said something about an animal. And he was like, a what? And she's like, I don't know. And so, like, all they, that my friends could remember was cha, cha, chu, cha, 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 some, some animal. She was like, that's a real animal. I was like, Liza, are you speaking Spanish? She's like, I might have been. And, um, so yeah, that was, funny apparently I had magical powers at one point and I could put people to sleep like the hypnotist thing and he like had me put them to sleep he put my pointer finger and he was like ooh watch your pointer finger it's like got magic powers or something and so he'd zap like he'd have me zap them and like one guy I guess scared me because I touched his nose and he fell and I like threw myself back and like I kept looking at the guy for like what to do and he's like oh do you want to like put all of them to sleep I'm like, yeah so I put all of them to sleep and apparently I was really excited about it and I also didn't care that apparently at one point we got got naked like he had us think that we were naked on stage and I'm just chilling there like, okay, what's up, guys? Yeah, apparently I'm okay with being naked up on stage. I should go out for the nude modeling job. They probably haven't found anyone yet. They had to change it from nude modeling to... Can't remember what they changed it to, but something that sounded like it had clothes on. And so, so, so... I don't really know what else. So, yeah. I guess, oh, I was a man at one point, I was Al Pacino, and I'd also shoot people if I was in a fight with them. I don't know how to use a gun, but watch out guys, watch out, big gangster right here. And that's all I can remember at the moment, but it's like, um, yeah, it's almost midnight. And I have so much energy. He said apparently, like, being under hypnosis is like sleeping for eight hours. So I don't know how I'm going to go to bed tonight, but I have a class tomorrow morning. And I'm going to drive home. So we're going to try and go to bed or exercise something. So bye, guys. I hope you enjoyed my weird story about being hypnotized. <laughs>